back for a quick part three and it's done. Let me show you what I did. Well, here we are, we made it to the end. Final steps of this project. Uh, one of the first steps is we need to get the sides to match the top. Uh, yeah, you can still see the buttons a, a little bit. Uh, that wood drain didn't match. Then again, I guess it's a little hint that uh, they move if you didn't find them right off the bat. Uh, then I put some shellac on the, uh, what was that? That was cedar. Uh, the cedar front and back. I applied some shellac to it. Then once the shellac dried, I applied an oil finish on top of it, uh, which I thought gave it a pretty nice look. We have version five of these top pieces. Yeah, I had to print them five times uh, to find one that fit just right. You know, just moving those sides like a half a mil at a time. Uh, and this one fits just right. So first we're going to apply some primer uh, just to help the other paints stick to the plastic a little better. And plus, you don't want it to look like plastic. This helps hide some of the layer lines, make it not look like it's plastic. Help pull off that metal look a little bit better. Uh, and the first color I'm going to lay down after letting it dry for about a half hour is bronze. Uh, this is a metallic paint that's actually made to have an aged look when you spray it with an activator. But I'm just putting it on there and not activating it. So it keeps its new metal look. But I'm going to apply two colors to it. First, I'm doing this bronze as a base coat. And then once that is dry, I will apply some copper to it. You'll see that right now. Yeah, just get the copper on there. So this is the last layer. Make sure you got all your edges good uh, because you're going to see them. Even a little lip on the underside, you'll see that. But yeah, just kind of brush that on there real nice. Some of the uh, bronze shows through it a little bit and it has a nice little effect. I like it. I do this quite a bit. And uh, once that's done, it's all dried. We get to glue it to the top. Once again, using CA glue, just make sure you don't glue pieces you don't want glued glued, like the fronts and backs, because that would suck. All right, so there it is, it's all done. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to make it. There's a lot of stuff I cut out that I didn't show of pieces and bits and parts that were giving me problems. But that's what this is, solving a problem. So how do you solve this, you ask? Well, you got the top piece here. You got to figure out what the code is or how to decipher it, and then plug that in. Once you got it all plugged in, let me make sure it is. You take and you have to unlock the front. You simply push out and there you go. I'll do that again for you. So yeah, it's just pop that out and it's unlocked. And then we find our secret buttons. The front opens up. That tray will actually come completely out and you can look in there, see all the mechanisms and how it works and uh yeah it was fun to make uh you should go make something of your own like this just be creative uh, and have fun with it uh, we'll see what the next project brings once again i'm ryan duffy and this is whiskey tab woodworks hope you, I, I hope you've enjoyed your stay here i can't talk i'm gonna go finish editing this <laughs>